21st century. Okay. This meeting is being recorded. Okay. Aging, aging in the 21st century. Okay. Uh. All right. What about it? What do you, why do you feel so strongly about that? What made you want to choose that topic to write about? Because I am aging in the 21st century. What's different about aging in the 21st century than about in the 20th century? What's so different? Because I'm in it. It's me this time. Not somebody else. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think that your work, when you complete your work, because the goal that you have in mind is that somebody else is wanting to read what you have written. You're well, going to yeah. tell them something yeah. about aging in the 21st century. Yeah. Yeah. So who's going to be reading your paper? Who do you want to see this work? The the people that are aging. There's somebody that needs to know. Yeah. Uh, I, I, yeah. Somebody that needs to know what aging is, what it looks like, who it is, where it is, what it does. Okay. So then when you write your book and you're already writing it, one of the things we have to consider is to narrow it down. Because when you say aging in the 21st century, you're talking about men and women? Yes. You're talking about the aging in the black church? Are you talking, because it's way out here like this. It's big. We got to bring it in because otherwise, if you don't bring it in, we're aging in the 21st century. Bring it in because we want to make sure that who is the being, you need to know your audience. Who are you yeah. writing this book for? Who's going to pick it up? and read it okay mm -hmm. so you've already written quite a bit uh we went through some some titles we went through yeah things. that's always going to be yeah until this book is finished yeah what else about your book what did you what kind of things did you what kind of research did you do how did you do your research i'm trying to get some questions and some ideas for uh uh, I went to the senior citizen uh, place and uh, looked at some of the stuff that they're doing uh, to try to help seniors uh, with food and, and shelter and different kind of things. Also uh, at church, knowing that, you know, uh, aging in, in the black church is, um, you know, about the mother's board, deaconess, that kind of stuff. You know, what is aging in that? Mm -hmm. Good. That's narrowing it down. That's letting people say, I want to see myself in that book. Mm -hmm. I want to see myself. If it's all over the place, who, the aging in the 21st century, are we talking about men and women? Are we talking about uh, senior citizens? And, because I think your book brings out, because one of the things we had to do was define it. And we defined it to say that are we talking about senior citizens? Are we talking about the older adults? We said some people don't want to be called senior citizens. Oh, yeah. Some people don't want to be called aging or elderly. <laughs> so, and we so, are. Right. My gardener calls me mama. Some of the Hispanics will say, mama, how you doing? I'm like, hey, yeah. fine, you know. Yeah. But yeah. some people are like, don't call me mama. Don't call me daddy. <laughs> But I thought you brought that out in your book. Mm -hmm. You don't have to work on it, but I thought I thought you brought some of those things out. Yeah. And you brought out the fact that what is the church doing about the aging? Mm -hmm. What is the church doing about the mother's board, those mothers that it don't it, the church doesn't use anymore? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, is, what, is, what is it doing? And I remember your book said something about a youth culture. There's a youth culture where the young, the young just don't really value the older ones. Older, yeah, yeah. So I'm yeah. saying all this so that Dr. Moore uh, can kind of get an idea of, of what you went through. Yeah. And so the first thing that she did, Dr. Moore, which, which is the first step in this class, is to do a proposal. Now, the proposal is to say to the dean of the gonna write about? college and you say to yourself and to your professor, this is what I propose to write about. 
We ask that you do an outline after you have chosen your title, after you have kind of got your argument. We said, give us an outline. But you know what? The proposal is already outlined. It's already outlined for you. It's outlined in what? Introduction, statement of the problem, significance of the study, purpose of the study, design, organization, summary. It's already outlined. When you do chapter two, chapter two, you have to do the outline because only you know what you're going to put in chapter two. And so when you do chapter two, that's a big part of the paper because it requires you to do a lot of research on the subject. Mm -hmm. So if you're writing about aging, you've got to go out there and get something to find out. What about aging? What is aging? Who's aging? And what are they doing about it? And how is it affecting the church? How is it affecting a uh, uh, different one? Amen? So that's what chapter two is. That's the biggie. That's the research. And we <laughs> said in chapter two, you do the outline. And you're always, but, the, but in this quarter, it, we're working on the proposal. Uh, Lady Strong is a little ahead because she's already working on chapter two. Yeah. Okay. So now, again, we're going to go to uh, uh, Elder Moore. Before we do, we want to say welcome to our dean. Dean Lagans is on the line. God bless you all. She always tries to get uh, to the classes. Mm. <laughs> her. And Tough. So, uh, we have just gone over. Uh, we, we really just kind of got a little slow start. But we, we know that maybe, uh, Lady Starks is writing. And so we had her give us an insight as to what she's writing about, why she's writing it, who she's writing it to, and why, she, you know, all that stuff. Amen. So now we're going to go to uh, Elder Moore. And Elder Moore, um, after hearing what we just said to uh, Lady Starks, and we said that the first thing we're going to do in this class is a proposal. And the proposal is already outlined for you. And one of the things that we will find in the proposal is that, that you, you, you give an introduction. So you would have a few paragraphs to give that introduction. Then you, it, it says the statement of the problem. That's the next outline point. What is the problem? Why are you writing about this thing? What's wrong? And, and she was saying aging. The church is not really doing all it can do in this 21st century church for the aging in the church, aging in the community. What can we be when we do more? So yeah. Aster is reading that book or a, a social worker is reading that book. They can see that, wait a minute, we, we're, we're, we're aging here in this 21st century. We're kind of behind or, or, or either we're on task. That book will tell us. So the proposal then is about 10 pages, 10 to 15 pages is a good one, 10 to 15 pages. Because the more you put in it, the more, the, the less you're going to have to put in the rest of the paper. Amen. So if you can pump up the proposal with 10 to 15 pages, then by the time you get to chapter three, four, and five, because the big part is chapter two. That's where all that research is. Okay? We really don't get to chapter two until the, the second quarter. Mm -hmm. So the first quarter is the proposal. 10 to 15 pages. 10 pages is good. You can do 15, that's better because that's more for you, okay? So um, the proposal, we said it requires an outline. It's already outlined for you. Chapter two is where you do your own outline. Chapter three even has a, a, an outline. It, it, it says give, chapter three wants to want, it, and then chapter four, the results of the study. It already tells you what it wants. Chapter two is the big one. That's where students get stuck. So the proposal, which we, we, you have to pick up your book and you'll be able to see that there is a sample of a proposal. If you follow that proposal, you should be done with that proposal this quarter. Okay? 
And so the thing that I want you to do tonight, uh, Dr. Moore, uh, Elder Moore, getting ahead of myself, Lord, Elder Moore is, have you thought about what you're going to write about in this paper? Two what years. topic? For two years. What? What's that? For two years. The past two years has given me something that I I don't, don't even know whether it's appropriate or not. But the past two years and the, the things that, uh, like I said, we've had to deal with, go through with, you know, and, and not only that, uh, other people talk to you. The, the things are not, people are being impatient and things are not moving fast enough for them. So what I wanted to write about was the reward that patience has as reward. Mm -hmm. That's what mm -hmm. I want to write about. Mm -hmm. So then the, the title of your book might be what? Hey, that, that, that's the title of the book. Patient has its rewards. Okay. Breaking that breaking down into yeah. fact that start, starting out the way I started out, it, I wasn't writing this for, for this class, but after I took this class, I said, well, maybe this is this is what I need to to write on. But this was this was basically I was writing this for me and to help somebody else. It wasn't for this class. Mm -hmm. So I came up with the fact of uh, first of all, which I listening to you, I know it's not in order like it is, but explain what faith is, then patience, then talk about the plan of patience, the process of patience, the power of patience, and the benefits of patience, and then rewards of patience. That was all of this is something I put down. Like I said, it wasn't for this class, but it's things that would come to me as I would read and study and talk to people, mm -hmm. trying to encourage them. Okay. So it looks like you have a, um, how can I say this? And I'm going to let Dr. Lagans kind of, because Dick, uh, Dean, Dean the Miller always could help us. And now, now the only thing we can do is hold on to Dr. Lagans. Because she's quite insightful. So mm. you said patience has its reward. Has its reward. So now I have to look at that. When I look at that, the same thing I said to Lady Starks is that it's rather broad. Patience has its reward in what? Being what are we patient. Talking about patience has its there reward. There is a reward for you being patient. Jesus said in the book of St. Luke, in your patience, possess you your soul. Okay. Patient. Right. So I'm trying to get you to see that when you write this, I'm expecting you to tell me about patience. Patience yeah, has its reward. I got down what? There. I must, uh, but I got that down there. Tell you about patience, what patience is. You know, for, for some people think patience wow. is procrastination. Remember I said it as an outline in the proposal. So the outline, you give me an introduction as to what you are writing about. I'm uh, right. This 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 is about patience. Of uh, the patience. Um, let me see if I can I can look at an example. Hold on a minute. Come something I can. I'm trying to get you to see that. So in the introduction, I, if you've done an introduction in your paper, because you require an introduction. Okay, when you're writing a book, you've got to introduce that subject or that topic. Introduce patience. Tell me what patience is. Tell me what the reward is going to be. So you have that introduction, but also remember I told you the outline because the yes. outline said statement of a problem. That only means what's wrong. You just said today the world is in a gridlock. It's kind of upside down and people are just everywhere. That's the problem. You have to give me that. The problem is you want everything right now. That's okay. the problem. Nobody's willing to wait. You're going to put it. Remember, I told you you have an outline. I yes. want to see you outline. I'm a. The proposal is going to tell you. Give me the introduction to this book called Patience Has Its Reward. In this world today, where it's been what four years since we've had a, a AIDS epidemic, we've had. Uh, 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 all these things happening, but patience has its reward. 
That's your opening statement. Opening statement. Scripture says blah, 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 blah. Give me the introduction. You're writing a book. So give me the introduction. Okay? All right. Not a statement of the problem. What's the problem? Why are you writing about this thing? Because the world just doesn't have any patience. The scripture said blah, 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 blah. The saint, not just the world, but the body of Christ. Right. Or if that's what you're saying, what are you saying? You got to tell me. So the statement of the problem, when I wrote the statement, when I wrote about domestic violence, the problem was that there is, the church wasn't doing anything about it. A man of the pastors knew that the women were being beat up by the men, but they weren't doing anything about it. That's the problem. What is the problem? There's no patience. Then the next thing says, the next outline says the purpose. You're not even talking about your book right now, uh, uh, Elder Moore. Mm -hmm. You're only giving me the proposal. So when you're right. in this proposal, you say the purpose of the study. Why are you writing this? Why are you writing this? Don't even tell me about the book. I don't want to really hear about patience until you get to chapter two. All right. The first thing I want to hear about in your proposal is introduce me to patience. All right. Define it. Tell me where to find it in the Bible. Tell me what's wrong. That's your thesis argument. Okay? When you get to the statement of the problem, I just want to know wh why, why are you writing this? Because people are not having patience. Because God said such and such and such. The problem. Give me the problem. The next thing it says uh, uh, research design. How are you going to do this paper, Elmore? You said, well, I'm going to read the Bible. I'm going to go on the computer. I'm going to get books. I may talk to other people. That's how you're going to design it. Okay? Because All you right. got to outline or even the methodology. Almost the same thing. What method are you going to use? So in this, it says, I'm going to gather information. Have you done that? Yes. Yeah. Some. So you, you've mm -hmm. gathered information. All the information you're gathering is on patience. But not just patience. Patience has its reward. I want you to tell me about it. Patience. What is patience? The Bible defines patience this way in the King James. Come back and tell me what the new King James defines it. You got to scratch it out. Then the NRV says patience is da 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 da. And the rewards of it. In the rewards, it says, Behold, I, I make all things new in, in the Re book of Revelation. And how are you going to put that in? But right now, in the proposal, all I want you to do is say, This is how I'm going, this is what I'm going to write. This is how I'm going to write it. This is why I'm writing it. That's your proposal. It says, this is what I propose to do. Okay? Then it has another out part of the outline, which says, research questions. What are the research questions? Are you doing a research paper? What are the questions that you came up with that caused you to write this paper? Um, what are the what are the ranges of patients? What are the eight aspects? Because if you go online, you're going to find that there's many types of patients. Yes, it will. Okay, so you well, know. patients is this, the patients is that, the definition of patients, da, da 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 da, and you'll put that in there. What is it? So because people, I'm already asking questions. And mm -hmm. all the questions that I'm asking, that's your research question. You said, I'm going to go find this out because Dr. Butler asked this question. You have to ask yourself some questions. What do I want to find out about patients? Because it's broad. You've got to write 125 pages about patients. Who talked about patients? Did Paul? Did John? Did Jesus? What about the Old Testament? What about the reward? 
you're talking, you and you you're more or less give give a sermon. When, when you write, you can give a sermon. But the proposal, all you're doing is a proposal saying, I'm writing about such and such. And then the interview questions. You don't have, I think that's optional. Interview questions. You might interview people, talk to people, other pastors. And what do you think patience is? What do you think the reward is? Watch the Jehovah's Witness lady said to me the other day when she came to the door. She said, do you have a hope that you will live forever? Do, what do you think about that? Do you think that you'll live forever? She asked me that question. I'm like, yeah, I have a hope. So tell me what, what that hope you have. You have a hope. What do you mean you have a hope? You better know how to explain that, as Dr. Oak would say. You better be, be able to give every man an answer for your, for your hope. Okay? And so, and I'm going to put this up on the board. And then you're going to say, this is why I'm writing this book. Here are the objectives. And why are you writing on patience? Elder Moore, why are you writing on patience? I'm, I'm writing, like I said, because a lot of, a lot of, I got into a lot of people calling me and they were ready to give up. To one point, I almost feel like I want to give up. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I find myself encouraging them people to hold on, but it reflect back on me that the fact is I'm the one had to hold on to. I can't just tell them to be patient, you know, and pray and no, God, um, God gonna bring us out. I find I out it, it reflected back on me too. I'm sorry. I don't know what kind of research you're gonna find out there on patience. Quite a bit. The subject is so broad, but it sounds like you're writing on burnout. No, I'm not writing a burnout. I already okay. I, I, all I gotta do is is put it put it in perspective like you're talking about now. Because basically I have about 70 pages. Okay. And where did you get your research from? From the internet, from talking to people. Uh oh, and from, see that's what I'm saying. From the Bible. So now did you keep a record of where you got the stuff? Yes, I got all of that. Okay. That would be your chapter two. See, I got all of that. That, that. That's what I'm saying. Okay, this, make sure you have it where I can see it. And that was going to be my question to you. How do I get it to, to you? Yeah. I, I know you don't want yeah. all of this. You want it broken down a little at a time. You get a little at a time. So that's, I, that's right. why I say I have to go that's through right. it and put it in perspective now. That's right. I didn't know what I was going to do with it. That's right. I didn't start this for this okay. class. Yeah. I started this for... My yeah. I'd like it. to see. I'd like to see what you're writing because it looks like you have quite a bit. It may be we can take what you got and you just arrange it. You know what I mean? That's what I'm talking about. You fit in those places. That's what I'm talking about. You would, would you? I went back as far as psychology today in 1998 and got some information. Way back from 1998. So I've just got all it, but it was just, I just had it. And I would, you know, and when taking this class, I said, well, maybe I can write on this. But first of all, I have to knew I had to get your approval to write on this. Right. The only thing that I ask you when you are getting stuff, you got it from psychology today, please give credit. I, will, I, I got it down there. Got, okay. It's all on my computer. You may be further ahead than I think. <laughs> you got to give credit for where you get out, and, and even the Bible. We always know we got to give credit from the Bible. You can't take anything from the Bible without saying it came from John or it came from uh, Acts or whatever, I right? I understand that. I understand that. Okay. All because right. part, part of this is my experience as a minister and teaching a Bible class. People want to know where it's scripted. Where you can't just quote scripture. People want to know where it's found. So you have to, to tell them where it's found. Right, right. And so part of this comes from my experience and teaching Bible class, and people want to know where it's found. Right, right. Psychology right. today. I just, I just, it's on my computer. So, yeah, that's the, you know, save this, save this, save this, save that. 
I just have to go back and find and put it up. But I, like I, I said, I've got about seven yeah. pages. I, I'd love if, to see if, what, if, if it's right. If it's right, then that's all. Uh, that's where I, where my problem is okay. putting it in perspective and making it right. Yeah, I'd love to see it. It looks like you've got quite a bit of research. So mm -hmm. I I will get that first part to you. I will try to get it in the right perspective and get the first part to you so you can look right. at it. And, and I'm not rushing you. I want you to know you got a whole yeah. quarter. You got a whole quarter to get this in perspective. The main, my main job is like when I wrote the book, the Deaconess book, which is on Amazon, by the way, y'all. One of the things with the person that formatted my book, she formatted my book. I did all the writing. But she had to format it because in order for it to be a book, it had to have a title page. It had to have, I had all that. But she was like, you got to format it. I'm like, it's formatted. No, no. She, so she was a help to me to say, this is the way Amazon will accept it. Okay. This is the way you got to, got to do it. It had to go in a certain order. So I understood that. And I'm saying the same thing that she said to me. Let's make sure we format your book. Okay. I, I got some, I, I put down, okay. I could call it an introduction or whatever, why I was, this in, was doing this information. All right. We're going to get from, uh, I, I got that on my computer because I want to know why I was doing this. Yeah. Yeah. Because somebody's going to read and they're going to like, why did you write this? Yeah. What is it about? What is patience? What what rewards are you talking about? Scripture will give you that. But I yeah. also want to know what other people say about that. What did the psychology today say about it? Because that's your research. That that's part of my research is that I've done. When I wrote the book on domestic violence, I did it in a secular university, secular school. And my professor, I'm like, I know all about domestic violence. I lived it. She said, I don't want to know what you know. All I don't right. Know where you got your information. All from. right. Okay. All right. The guns, Dr. The guns, and then we're going to put a sample of the proposal up. Uh, good evening, everyone. Dr. B uh, Butler, thank you so much. I Sorry, I'm late getting in, but I've been trying to check on some other things and other students. But anyway, I'm uh, so glad I'm able to stick with you for a while. And uh, Elder Moore, so glad you're writing. Sounds like you've gotten ahead because you were doing other research for other reasons. And I really, I'm like Dr. Butley, I really want to read it, but I am concerned that once you really get into it that and your thoughts, you have the thoughts of what you want to do. I think when you start to really do the research and you have to find people to say what you want to say, not what you, you can't say what you, I, it's uh, you take your thoughts that you have and you find someone who says it. And that's where your research come in. And that's where you, all these references and, and you sound like you've got some, but believe me, you're going to have to get about 25, 30 more. Am I correct, Dr. Butler? A few more, certainly. And that's where you might run into some difficulties. Um, uh, but I am impressed. Uh, I'm, I'm eager to read it. And I think that, in, you know, we get through uh, wrestling with this. You can come up with something that you can be, be your hypothesis. Like Dr. Butler says, what's the problem? I think you kind of said it, but it needs to be on down on paper so we can take a look at it and brainstorm with it. But um, I think you'll be fine. And, and let's get what you have to Dr. Butler. And I know she will tell you that her email address is on her syllabus. So that's how you would send it to her. So the other thing is, I really know, you know, a, a lot of things can come up, but somewhere I read that, you know, we have to be careful that we don't overwrite. Is that correct? You won't overwrite. <laughs> Not 125 pages. You, oh, gotta keep... right. <laughs> you won't overwrite. Because I have students that have, have written more than 100 and, more than 125 pages. I have students that have written more than 225 pages. What I tell those students that wrote more than 125 pages, save it for the doctorate. Amen. Save it for the doctorate. Okay. I believe Dr. Kelly has is saying oh, something, Dr. Butler. Okay. 
No, Dr. You, Bell, you are... I think Dr. Kelly is, is, is uh, zooming in on something there. Did no, I not hear no. her? No, all I it just every I concur with everything that everyone is saying. Um, you just with writing um, a research paper, you have to take the words that you want to say. You you're putting it on paper, but with the APA style of writing, you take someone else's words and make them say what you want them to say. For instance, Dr. Butler says. Patience is a virtue. According to Dr. Lagans, patience is something that none of us seem to have enough of. So it's in that vein that you will be writing. All right. Good yeah. point. So, you know, whatever whatever you're writing, you're, you know, John such and such and such says patience, da, 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 da. You're telling me what John said. You're telling me what the word said. You're telling me what Psychology Today said. In your proposal, you can kind of give me an idea of what Elder Moore is saying. Elder Moore is saying, I'm writing about this because I want pastors and teachers and church mothers and, and all those who are in the body of Christ to hold on. Because patience has its reward. Okay? Now, let me bring up the proposal. This is, we're gonna talk about this again. But one of the things that I have difficulty with is making sure the students can format that paper because it's a research paper. You get your topic, but you have your topic. Now that you have your topic or your subject, you give me the argument. The argument or the thesis idea is that, and you've already said it, we just have to put it into words that People just don't have patience. They're just, you already said it. We just have to put it in some order. Amen? Amen. All right. Let's go to, let's, let's bring this up on the board. I'm going to, oh Lord, I'm about to share it. Okay, yeah, okay. I think I can share it. This is the book that you're going to pick up from the school office. Can everybody see this? Yes. All right. Thank you. Okay, this is the book. It is the school handbook. Every school has a handbook for writing a research paper. Okay, um, in this, in this, and I'll probably use some of this for lecture. The first thing that we do, we're going to choose a topic or a subject. You choose that. You select a topic. You research, research your topic. Research a topic. Go out and find out what, what that topic is about. Patience and, and uh, uh, reward and or uh, aging. Go out now that you have that. Go out and find out all about it. Find out about it. Not just you. I know all about aging. I've been there. I can write a book just for me. But re this is a research class. And the research says you've got to get the information from others either from a book, from online, from the library, you get somebody else to talk about aging, okay? Second step, uh, we come up with a thesis idea. You already have come up with that, Elder Moore. That thesis idea is your argument. It's, the, you, it's your convincing argument and purpose for writing that paper. You come up with it because this the, the thesis I, it would be that, say that I'm writing about the millennials, um, the millennials, why the millennials are leaving the church. I think Pastor Candace is writing about that. Why are the millennial, gener black millennials, well, she had to narrow it down. Why are millennials leaving the church? Wait, wait a minute, that, that's too broad. So narrow it down. Why are millennials leaving the black church? We got millennials in that millennial generation that are leaving the black church. Her thing was, I want to find out, because that's what research is, I want to find out why these young people, <coughs> these millennials, black millennials, are leaving the church. When you go to the church, you got a few old people sitting in there. Why is this certain generation, this age group, leaving the church? That's her argument. Her, her other argument was, 
uh, what is the church doing about it? Okay, so then the outline, she, she goes and does, does her outline and she does the proposal. We'll get a chance to see some of that. I'll share it with you. I'll share Lady Stark's paper with you just to see we've already been through the arguments of it. And so we want to do that work, but, but that's that's all in your handbook. This is your, your Long Beach Bible uh, Christian College handbook. I won't go all into it, but I'm gonna try to get to the proposal part because this I'm gonna ask you to read. I'm gonna ask you to read it so you can do the research. You're working on a master's degree and I'm gonna ask you to do the research. Okay, hold on a minute. I don't know if I can, that doesn't work. So I have to do it like this. Let me get to the proposal and I'll show you a sample proposal. Okay, Kate, give me a, give me a patience, give me a patience. Because I can't make it go any faster because I don't know why. Okay, okay. Proposal. Here's, a, here's the outline for the proposal. Introduction. Uh, in that introduction, you're either, if you're working on a, a doctorate, it, it, you can say overview or master's. Master's is a background. You're given the background, the doctorate, you're saying I'm giving an overview in that introduction. Statement of a problem. This is just a proposal. It's only 10 pages, 10 to 15 pages. Tell me what the problem is with aging. What's the problem uh, uh, that's going on in the black church is that they're not taking care of their aging. Too many people are at home and the church is not visiting them. Once they get old, it's like they're forgotten. That's what Pastor First Lady Starks is saying. That's what she's saying the problem is that she's writing about is that she believes the church can do more. Yeah. Have more programs or maybe pick up some of the aging uh, uh, or something like that. Purpose of the study. What's the purpose of the study? The purpose of the study is to show the church what's going on in the aging, 21st century aging community. That's the purpose of her study. The purpose of the study is to show that domestic violence really happens in the church. I have to prove in my research and go out there and find out that domestic violence really happens. And that scripture, I have to find out what the scripture says. Some scripture is erroneous. Scripture doesn't tell us to, to stay and be beat, beat up. Some people will say, well, you know, scripture tells you to hold on, hang on in there. Uh-uh, scripture doesn't tell you to be beat up. God doesn't want you to be abused. And we, we have the questions. Some of these are optional. What's your objective? Why are you writing? What's your goal? My goal is when I when I write this paper that uh, it will help somebody. It will cause someone to get saved. It will cause someone to get delivered. It will cause someone to really hang on and be steadfast. Significance of the study. Why is the study significant? Because people need to know that the aging church population is there we forget about the aging we forget about the old church mothers that work so hard we forget about the pastors the pastors that 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 are older or the superintendents or all of those that are older that's why aging she's bringing it to the attention of the church she's bringing it to the attention of the community it's significant because Somebody needs to know that the aging is still, they active aging. There's some aging that says, the church has forgotten about me. I would go to church, but you know, I'm older now. I don't have a way, but if you just call them, mm -hmm. call me, okay? Organization of the study, all of this is already done for you, by the way. That's the other thing about this chapter one. When I tell you that it's already done for you, that when you write it, you're going to be using the words that are already there. Is that right, uh, Lady Starks? Yes, ma'am. When I tell you that the words are already there, 
except in that, that introduction, you may have to come up with some of those things, but it's already there. Okay, we're not going to look at chapter two, because that's where you're going to put all those 70 pages right in here. All that work you got going to go right in there. All right? Let's go to the proposal. All right? This is a research paper, which means you've done research. You went and found out stuff. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to get the proposal. Can't zip it. I have to just do it by the mouse. I'm using the mouse to move. So it takes a little while. All right. I, I, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I've been there before. Dr. Butler, Go ahead. You, see the, you see the little square to the right of your screen where the green line is, the border? Yeah. You can take your mouse and go there and drag down. Okay. I'm going up instead, okay. <laughs> no worries. Uh -oh. You're almost there. Uh -oh. okay. You're almost there. Okay. Yeah, I forget that that's there. You see that? What, what the help she give me? Okay, let me go back up to it now. Okay. All right. A little bit more. You're right there. A little bit more. <laughs> All right. We won't, we won't talk about the type of, the, the, I'm not even worried about this right now. The letter mm -hmm. comes to either Dr. Miller or Dr. Lagan. When you get, get, when you choose and, and got your title and everything ready, we give a letter to Dr. Miller, Dr. Lagans, that said, hey, I'm writing about aging. I think uh, Lady Starks has already put her letter in. We just have yeah. to correct it and so forth. And yeah. But she's already did her letter to say, hey, this is what I'm writing about. Is it okay? And the reason we get permission when we find our subject and our topic is because we don't want to write about expose things. Mm -hmm. I've been doing this a long time, and I know we've had students that want to write about, it's in my book, so I'm going to say it, Sex in the Pulpit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That ain't going to yeah. be in our, our uh, school. We don't mm -hmm. want no expose trying to uh, uh, find out what uh, what's a man's movie is about. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know the movie. Mm -hmm. um, there's a movie out, what, what was his name? He, he, he just caused so much embarrassment to the church. Eddie Long, or what, what his name was. Oh, yeah. okay. okay. That movie is about him. Mm -hmm. Talk if you love Jesus. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. That's an expose. That hurts the church. Yeah, it do. The movie, but some things in it, you, you hurt the body of Christ. And the camp mm -hmm. is, so that's why the deans look to see that what you're writing about, the school won't be sued. We don't want to get sued over something you're writing about or somebody. So you don't be writing about somebody. That's why you're writing about research. Okay. So here's your introduction. This is the introduction. It, it's here. There's about one, two, at least you ought to have about three or four paragraphs in your introduction. All you're doing is, is saying, Something has happened, and and uh, the aging community. I wish I had a way to start paper so I could look at it, but I don't have it. I have a, a pastor, uh, Pastor Candace paper, and she says the growing number of Black Christian millennials attending and participating in traditional Black church services is on a decline. That's her statement. That's her introduction. Something is happening. Why are millennials leaving the black church? She starts out in her introduction to tell us the millennials, these black young people, is on the decline. And, and the church, it, where are the young people? I say this, where are our children? Mm -hmm. And so then this is her this is her thing, her introduction. She says, many professing young adult millennials. Believers are neglecting corporate worship, entering God's presence whenever the moon uh, makes strikes them. In Romans 12 and 2, Paul says, Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed 
by the renewing of your mind. See how she put the scripture in there? She's preaching it, really. She's preaching it. Just like you preach to the teacher, you give that introduction. Whenever you bring a word, you always give an introduction. You don't just start talking. You give an introduction. You say what you're going to talk about. You give the scripture. Okay? And then she says, we see in this verse that a new mind is essential to speak his will. It is wrong and dangerous to think God can be replaced with the opinions and philosophies of man. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. She got another scripture in. 1 Corinthians 3.19. This is the proposal is her talking. Okay? The proposal is you talking. And so when you get ready to put in all of your research, it's going to go in chapter two. So when she gets ready to put all that in, let me see what did she put for the statement of the problem, but she, she just saw a draft. And nothing final to this final, to the end of class. Her problem says, she says in the problem, a crisis has arisen among the 21st century black religious community. The modern church is experiencing an exodus of the millennial generation from its pews. The decline in church attendance and church participation has affected belief patterns and opinions in the predominantly black congregation. What we have now is our young people, they seem to have found other people of, of color, I mean of um, different color. And those people are taking them into their religion, to their belief. So why is why is the black church suffering that we can't have Sunday school because we don't have children in Sunday school? But I'm saying that, but guess what? When I get to chapter two, I'm gonna have to prove it. I'm gonna have to prove it to find out that says um psychology today said no, no, Pew. She got Pew Research. Pew Research says that the reason that, that black millennials are not going to church is because the church is it just doesn't have anything relevant. They're not offering anything relevant. Dr. Joy? Uh, just quick, I'm sorry, uh, time check, 7.30. Okay, we're going to have to get, get out of here. Does everybody understand where we, we just, we're just getting started. One of the main things, and I'm going to let you go after this, keep an open mind. So that you can get your paper completed. All the research you got, Dr. Dr. Starks, Pastor, um, First Lady Starks has a lot of research. It's going to go in chapter two. She had to do the proposal first to tell us why she's writing it, what's the problem, why is it significant. And everything is here. Let me give you an example before we go. Statement of the problem. Where you see this right here, all these words, you can use some of these words right here. Statement of the problem. I know she's used some of these words. This is just an example for you. That'll help you write your paper. Stay with these. You can use this. Mm. You can use this. All of that. You can use. Purpose of the study. That you can use. You don't have to rewrite this. The purpose of this study is to... What is the purpose of your study? The purpose of my study was to help church leaders. Is that your purpose in the black community? Or to help aging, the aging population? Okay, so hmm. any questions? Have I got y'all thoroughly confused? Enjoy. I think they got it. Okay. Dr. Stark, Pastor Stark. Yeah. I'm good. I'm gonna we're gonna put yours up the next time. Okay. Share it and see what you've done. I know okay. you're looking in chapter two, which means all you're trying to do is get that research. Yeah. You're going to different places to find out about you went to AARP. Oh yeah. Find out about aging. 
Yeah. Wherever you can go, Pew Research. Got it. Find out. They do the statistics on it. Now, when we come to Elder Moore, we want to find out more about uh, patients because it's 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 this way. It's broad. It's way out here. So you got to bring it in, Elder Moore. That's why I tell. I want to see what you're writing. Bring it in. Patients is way here. What about patients? What kind of patients? Define it. What you talking about? See? When my professor did this to me, I had a secular professor. She wasn't very kind. I started crying. This is a long time ago. I don't cry now. But she, well, she took my paper apart. And I'm like, but I know what I'm just, she said, but, and I just started crying. I did what she was trying to critique and get me right. Okay. I started crying. So when we when we get it, 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 it's way out here. My job is to bring it in, to get you to bring it in. So that when we're talking about patience, patience has its reward. We may need a, we need may need to work on that title. We may need to work on that title. That's why I need to see what it is that you're talking about, because that title could could be something else. It could be something else there. Doctor Joy. No, I, I think that it's, you know, they, they, they have what it is. I like to look at it as when you're writing a puzzle because it's laid out for you. You just have to put in the pieces in the right places. And as we go forward, week after week, it will become more clearer and you'll get it. You'll get it. It might seem a little confusing right now because this may be new to you. I know it's a different writing, but it, it will get easy and then we're here to help you we're here to help you succeed okay elder moore you have anything oh i'll i'll see you when i wake up in the morning you gotta stay with me elder moore you gotta stay with me i'm here to help you i may critique you like I'm i say, critique, like but, I I say. Critique, but you gotta just say okay let me see what you're talking about it, it was you know, when, I, when I started looking up all this stuff, and it was because of things that was happening and, you know, impatient and uh, things not moving fast enough and had to deal with family in, in this capacity, had to deal with other people in this capacity, had to deal with myself in this capacity, and it seemed like everybody's patience was running out. Let me, so, let me just, Elmore, let me say this. You are right on it. Mm -hmm. You're right on it. When I wrote the Deaconess Handbook, I wrote the Deaconess Handbook because I'm said I'm tired of people. People are just messing with communion. They're not doing communion right. The women don't know what they're doing. I I was so I gotta make this right. And the baptism and the foot washing. That's how I felt. Just like you felt. I know what you're talking about. I've had uh, your know, friends and pastor, you know, they just give up because of patience. They're impatient, you know, and not willing to work and go through this. But my, my point is, you know, holding on and working through this, you know, is, is your God reward you at the end. Okay. That's so, why you have to do your cross references. Uh, you do your cross references with patients. Thank you, Dr. Joshua. Let me listen to the class over the phone, you know? All right, we're going to go ahead and close. But that's what you do. You run the references Thank with you, patients. Find out about patients. David, the song. Uh, David about patients. And let her David care know about what you're going to write about so that she can discuss okay. with you. All right. All right, we're going to close. I don't, you know what, I know that. I'm going to close. I, Thank you for, uh, for the uh, master's and I'm pretty sure that I already bought the book and I have uh, 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 some uh, 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 Okay. I will get it to you. I will give it to you in just a minute. I'm trying to 
fix something oh, here okay. real quick. No worries, no worries. It's not you. It's me. I'm trying to. It's hard when you're you call Dr. George? George. No, no, no. I'm talking about uh, <laughs> to Anthony Zendeja. Okay, Zendeja. Okay, yeah. Brother Moore, go ahead and close this out, sir, and I'm going to call you right after this. All right. Father God, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your blessing. We thank you, oh God, for both of our instructors. Even, oh God, we thank you for Dr. Lagan and, and uh, her input. And God, we thank you for each and every student, those that were not even on the line tonight. We ask you to just encourage them and let them know there's still time, oh God. Just like you say in your word, we need to redeem the time. And there seems still time. God, we ask you to bless our, touch our minds, strengthen our minds, and encourage us. Let us know, oh God, that with your help, we can make it. And we thank you because you are help from above. And God, we thank you for our instructors that are willing to help that we might understand and accomplish what we need to do. And God, we give you glory and we give you honor. Thank you for the school. We're asking you, oh God, to give people of mind to come to the school to learn more of you. People that want to learn and understand and know, have a closer walk with you. We ask you to touch your hearts and minds in the name of Jesus and be with us throughout this night with your grace and mercy. And we give you praise and glory and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, class. I, I appreciate you very much.